Hello, I just wanted to share with you um, two items that I just got in the mail today. One is a hand scanner. It's like a wand scanner. And the other is um, a wallet. I told you I have a lot of wallets. I haven't bought many this year, but this one was on sale. And I said, oh, what the heck. Um, I'll show you the scanner really quickly. I got this... Um, I have a flatbed scanner that goes with my printer, but I wanted um, one that, you know, I could use really quickly. It's just, it's it's for work. Um, and this one I ordered from Amazon. It was like $44, and it's called the Viewpoint Magic Wand Portable Scanner. And um, it was only... Uh, I, th I think it was between forty and fifty dollars, and it got really good reviews. I think four and a half out of five stars on Amazon, and I looked at uh, I looked at reviews for about ten of the top rated ones, and uh, one of them was like a hundred and fifty dollars, but it pretty much got the same reviews. And what attracted me to this was that um, it uses Bluetooth, so you actually don't have to plug in, you know, a USB cable from the scanner to your computer or to your phone. Um, and my plan is, um, I have some documents that I've got to scan, but once I'm done with that, I'm going to use it for receipts and bills and, and things like that. And it's a great way to save paper and general bulk. Um, I won't open it now. What I'll do is I'll just show you the exterior and later on when I've opened it and tried it out, I'll, I'll show you and give you my review. Um, but anyway, just briefly, um, as you see, it says easily scan your documents, transfer images via Bluetooth. So we'll see if this actually works. It has a picture of a computer and a phone. So it looks like you could transfer, you know, really to whatever Bluetooth enabled device you have. Um, on the other side, this is kind of interesting. It says scans almost anything. And it has a picture of a scarf. So I don't know if... I'm not sure why they would, um, there would be a need to scan a scarf, but, <laughs> and then there's a picture of a, it looks like a tile of some sort, I don't know, but anyway, I guess the point is that it's very versatile, so we shall see if it works and how, uh, you know, how good it is. Um, on the side, it just says three easy steps, scan, connect, this has a, it, it says connect with USB, and then it says view. Um, however, apparently you can do it with uh, Bluetooth, but I guess if you don't have a Bluetooth enabled device, you can use um, USB. Okay, so the package has the, the Magic Wand portable scanner, the user manual, the warranty card, this quick start, quick start guide, a note card, calibration paper, USB cable, power adapter, rechargeable lithium polymer battery, which is great. I wanted one that I didn't have to, you know, haul around with uh, a cord. It has a pouch, which is great, a cleaning cloth, and a software CD. Um, all right, so I'll do another video reviewing it and letting you know how, how uh, useful it is. The other item I got was a... Um, I really don't need this, but I told you I have a lot of purses and wallets. And um, this <laughs> wallet I was curious about a long time ago. Uh, didn't see the need to actually buy it, but um, it was on sale on my habit for like, again, like $40 or something. Um, and this is the, it's, I think it's like the Lotus Cayman Ballet Wallet. Um, I have a few Lotus wallets, and at some point I'll show you them. But I've already opened it, and I've put, I actually put some of the items that were in my Lauren wallet from Hobo International to show you, you know, what this one accommodates. But anyway, so this stuff, packaging was in there. Literally, I got this today, but I opened it before I did this. So it was wrapped in this um, paper this plastic. Um, this is what was inside. I, I guess it retails for $99 and like I said I got it for 
I think it was $44 on My Habit. And it is the Cayman Large Ballet Wallet. So it's black. I, I have other color wallets, but obviously the one I showed you yesterday and this one, they're, they're black. Um, I'm going to do a size comparison. So this is the Cayman wallet next to the Hobo International wallet. They're similar because they're frame wallets, and that's why I'm comparing them. Um, this is the Cayman wallet is a lot smaller. Um, doesn't look a lot smaller when I'm filming it, but it is, and much narrower as you can see. This is a wallet. I don't think you can use it as a clutch. So I will show you what I put inside of it. Um, this is a frame wallet also, and um, it has a clasp, and I've already loaded up the same cards, same receipts, same cash. Um, so all the cards I had in my other wallet I put in here, and this basically has one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, I guess 10 card slots, so I put them in here. What I noticed is that it actually has 11 card slots. Um, I noticed it was kind of tight putting things in, but I think it's because it's new, so I actually doubled up on two cards to see if they'll stretch out in the morning. But um, again, 11 card slots. It has an ID slot. Um, and then I put the same receipts that you saw in the other wallet here. Um, there is a, I'm going to turn it like this, there is a gusseted pocket in the back and I put the cash I had and I put the checks I had in the back there just so they wouldn't get rumpled. I still haven't deposited them. Then there's a gusseted pocket here um, that I haven't got anything in now. And in the center is a coin compartment. Uh, which I'm going to try to open. I cannot open this with one hand. Okay, I got it. I put a few coins in here, just a few. And um, one thing I noticed is that the the uh, zipper pull is really tiny. I've noticed that on Lotus wallets. I like that it's small because it doesn't prevent, it doesn't create bulk when closing the wallet. But I think they could be a little bit bigger because they're actually kind of slippery. Because I have another item that I have the same issue with. But um, anyway, much more compact. You cannot put a phone in here unless you have a really small phone. I didn't even bother trying to put my phone. But it's nice that it has a smaller profile, much smaller profile uh, than the other one. It's not bulky. It's flat. And again, it's one of those wallets that you can open, well, I believe. <laughs> oh, I have it backward. Okay, like it's another one you could sort of flick open, um, but you would have to have it fairly wide open to take out your cards. That's what I believe. Again, I have not used this. I just stuffed this stuff in to show you. Um, okay, well that's it. I just wanted to show you what I got. Um, and I will do another video showing you how that scanner works. And my goal is to be able to, after I do some of the work-related stuff, is to see if I can scan receipts and other documents so I don't have, you know, all these scraps of paper that I keep saving. All right, well, that's it for, um, for now. And again, thank you for watching and um, have a good day or night.